do you see my web bar or not yet? Yeah, we see it. Yeah, okay, cool. Look, this is an example to, it's given one rational function. Remember, rational function is the division of two polynomial p divided by q. And in this example, p is x, degree one. And q is x squared minus five x plus six, degree two. Uh, what am I going? My, my goal is decomposition in partial fraction. How many partial fraction you believe you have? I don't know, I have no idea. You factorization, the polynomial Q in the bottom. This stays the same. Open two parentheses, x, x, 3, 2, because 3 times 2 is 6. Um, 3 plus 2 is 5, there is negative. Both. This is a factorization. Okay, nice. So we are in the case that we have linear factor and non repeated. Cool. It's an easy case. Case one. And you write two partial fraction decomposition. The first one is x minus three. Why not? And the second is x minus two. And you don't know, you put a letter A and B. A and B. A and B. A and B. Okay. <clears throat> So far clear? And what's going on? Some people have not get inside this because it's late, maybe. Okay, now, remember in this case, you can apply the easy way, the easy method, the shortcut, case using the smart, the smart value. But first of all, you need to find the least common denominator Obviously, is the x minus 3 times x minus 2, and you multiply the entire equation by this, and we have x only is equal a times x minus 2, is the opposite, plus b x minus minus 3, no, a minus 3, minus 3. Oh. Well, let me see. Uh -huh. okay. When you multiply, it stay x minus 2 uh -huh. and b x minus 3. Okay. I don't know why. Oh, okay. okay, okay. So, so there are too many ways to do this. So, so, so far, everyone following? Oh, no. Factorization, separate into partial fraction decomposition because it's linear, non repeated. Uh, now you multiply the whole thing by LCD because I want to eliminate fractions. If you have one equation to contain, contain one, contain two parameters A and B, and one variable is X. Let's see, you can take like the small value. The small value is the value in which at least one term of the equation is zero. So you declare, for example, X equal three. So let's do it L intentionally. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sir, I still don't know how to get my name in the show. Mm -hmm. Who are you? Who are you? Okay, Perry. Mm -hmm. You don't understand? Uh, I say I the email. Uh, in my list, you, you, your name appears. I send the email, you click in the link, and you connect the automatically with the, like everyone. Look at this moment, the air connection, a lot of people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wow. Uh, 12, 13, 100. I don't know what happened with you. There are many reasons that you cannot connect. It. Number one, uh, your internet is no good. Number two, your computer is SMS. Number three, uh, you don't want connecting and you say you cannot. Uh -huh. I don't know, don't say now, I don't care. To take class online, you need resources. You need, it, it, I am connecting. Okay, I am connecting, okay. Guest user, I don't know your name. Do you know personal email or do you use it? Yeah, yeah, I use it my personal email, of course. Exactly the email is, is, is you can see in the syllabus. 
Mm -hmm. Well, you connecting the chat using the link. No? Okay. Try to advise it to him because I have no time to explain this now. Okay, let's continue. Why? Let's suppose that x is 3. You evaluate x is 3. Replace 3 equal a 3 minus 2 get 1. And 3 minus 3 is 0. So that part is I create intention of this idea. This is 0. Say goodbye. And I have to say 3 is equal a 3 minus 2 is 1. To say a is 3. Mm, cool. Likewise, uh -huh. you another smart value is two. Try signing in your school email. Ah, yeah, yeah. No necessary the school email. So you can say so I, I teach I tutoring online to another student using another email, private email. The important email case, the school email is my. My. But I send from my email school. Because for x equal to 2 is equal a, a times 2 minus 2 gets 0, and this, in this case 0 that bar plus b, uh, 2 minus 3 gets negative 1. No? So it's 2 is equal, uh, well, this negative b, no? negative b, negative b. Therefore, b alone is negative 2. Mm -hmm. So now our partial fraction decomposition final answer would be would be you know, you replay here you use an eraser no a and b anymore no 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 you put you put a um, a a three uh -huh, a three no yeah three and b is negative two so you put negative two here oh 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 I don't know I like Another way to put a negative in the front, you know, it's equivalent, no? Uh -huh. This is my final answer is... Well, I, I make a mistake, no? Oh, no, 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 it's okay. It's okay, no? All right, let me check it out, see if I make a mistake. So, A and 3. Uh, a, I declare the good. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Okay. Any question, guys? Do you understand or no? Come on, I want to see your face. That was easy, extremely easy, because it is a non repeated, uh -huh, a non repeated linear. I want to complicate a little bit. Uh huh. Go ahead, go ahead. Question. Question. What part, my Miss Norris? Miss Norris, what is the reason that you don't activate your camera? Because you are shy, no? But you know, it's mandatory. In the virtual room, activate your camera. Because I want to see that you are there, really. Uh, what part is confusing? Come on. It's just the part that says A and B on it. I understand, like, the, the process and stuff, but how you get um, A and how you get B, I don't get that part. Okay. And how you change A and B to three and two. All right, all right. Slow, slow down, step by step. Do you understand the factorization? Yes. Okay, cool. You understand I can separate uh, the original uh, part, uh, um, the original and rational function and two things. Okay, it's called a partial fraction decomposition, one and two. You understand that part? No. No? Say something. Yes or no? No. No. Well, this is the theorema. This is possible. This is algebraically equivalent. Okay? This is algebraically equivalent. Okay, I guarantee you 100% Okay, that this expression can look like horrible. Not horrible, but complicated. You can decomposition, break it down into easier. This is the idea for the calculus. This is the part that you don't understand, Miss. I remember that you are in the last class. In the last class, I explained the four scenario that we can find. Look, 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 look. We have four, four cases. Case one, case two, case three. Uh -huh. Actually, we are doing now case one, 
and case one is when the factorization of the polynomial and the bottom is a non-repeated linear factor. Uh -huh, this is possible, algebraically possible. This is the thing we are studying now in pre-calculus. Okay, how we decomposition in partial fraction. Let's see another example. Example three. Example three is, is more complicated because x, x squared divided by x minus one squared and x plus one. We okay. So now in this moment I see okay, we have again linear linear but repeated. Why repeated? Because of the power is two. When the power is two, it's repeated. Actually, this is equivalent to say x minus one times itself times x plus one. But the format for the partial fraction of the composition, and in this example, contain three. And the thing, the most important thing you need to know is the format. Because the power is two, the power is two, you copy x minus one square. You copy x minus one. No square, so power one. And you copy x plus one, okay, x plus one is extra linear factor, that okay, is non repeated only one time x minus 1 is repeated. This is the new thing. And when it's repeated, power 2, power 3, power whatever, you decrease in the exponent. 2, 1, uh -huh. see 3 is 3, 2, 1, see 4 is 4, 3, 2, 1. This is the idea. And the rest is A, B, C. A, B, and C. Okay, this is my goal. Let's find A, B, and C, you know? That's the idea. Exactly the same. You find the least common denominator okay, is x minus 1 squared times x plus 1, and you multiply the entire expression, everything, multiplication by the least common denominator. Okay? Let's do it. When you multiply by the least common denominator, obviously, in the left hand side, we have only x squared because everything is canceled, no? In the right hand side, we have a times something x plus one. Because when you are doing the multiplication, I suppose okay, you understand very well that this factor and this factor is cancel out. And I stay alive only x plus one times a. Okay. Likewise, or similarly, we similarly, when you multiply by the second b time, x minus one and x plus one because only one x minus one is cancelled and it stay x minus one times x plus one and the last one is c time 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 x minus one square so far everyone follow me yes or no come on opinion question I mean, uh, Shane, you follow me? Cool. Jose Cabrera? Everything okay? Yes, I follow you. Yeah. Uh, Benjamin? Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, Miss Norris? You want to tell or no? You are, you are not there? No. What part? No. I need feedback. Okay, okay, okay. What is the smart question? The question in, in which you help me to understand what part you don't understand. Because so I focus, I explain better that part, uh huh, and you understand. But if you no cooperation, you say, sorry. Uh huh. I know, I know, I know, I know. The last part, okay, uh, x squared. The last part of the x squared. Let me try to see. The last part of the x squared. That part? Say something. Yes, no. Activate the microphone. Stop working. That part? Says x yes. squared equals uh -huh. 
You don't understand everything in this part. Yes or no? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. I want to explain. Don't worry, it's easy. It's easy. Suppose that you multiply this expression, this expression. Let me erase that part. You multiply this expression by LCD. So now to visualize more clear, I propose you, you copy, recopy the least common denominator. Mm, let me copy, use a different color. X minus one is square, X plus one. Uh -huh. Again, X minus one is square. X plus one multiply the first one in the right hand side. X minus one is square. X plus one, no is square and x minus one square x plus one. The thing I am doing is multiplication one by one this expression by the least common denominator. So it's obvious using the red color okay, this part cancel. That part is cancel and stay alone x square. It's exactly I copy here. Cool. And the right hand side this is cancel. It stay x plus one times a bone and that part is cancel one x minus one, this x minus one, it stay x minus one time x plus one time b. And finally, finally, this is cancel and c time x minus one is square. Cool? Now you understand or no? Yes. Cool? This is the idea. So you say, I don't understand anything. This is no good question for me. Ah, specific question, cool. Okay, so now there are two different ways to solve in this. So because my goal is determine A, B, and C, no? Okay, however, I use the, the easy way is the smart value, no? The smart value, the smart value, the smart value is, and that is scenario, a smart value one maybe. How do you know? Because when you plug in one here, one minus one is zero, that part disappear. One minus one is zero, that part disappear. I stay only a. Uh -huh. so when you have one, it's easy. One is square, a parenthesis, one plus one gets two. So actually, a is equal one half. One half, one is square one, one plus one is two, divided by two, a is one. Uh -huh. Who proposed me, please, please, I need to use cooperation with me. Propose me another smart value. Propose me another smart value, please. Remember, smart value by definition is the value that when you plug in an X value, bah, disappears something, no? it's equal to zero. And my equation now is reduced, it. it's a scissor. Okay, so now another smart value, guys. Tell me, please. Negative one, Shane. Shane say negative one is good. Of course, Shane, you are right because because when you plug in negative one here, negative one plus one is zero. Uh, negative one plus one in this case is zero, and zero times something is zero. But to say you can available to find c, c, c. To say negative one square. So you replace x for negative one. I saw that the A part disappear, the B part disappear, and the state only C. C, 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 negative one minus one square. Okay, this a negative one square plus the one, and negative one and negative one together is negative two square four, four C. Therefore, C is one quarter, one over four. And we solving this without doing any system of equation. No, 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 easy way. Because I need to find me. However, unfortunately, we have no more smart value. I does it we using like you know I call frame value. What is the frame value? Frame, 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 frame. Frame value is is arbitrary value. But easy, no 100, no 1000, no frame, frame, D, frame value. It is, I suppose, I like almost zero, like a frame, because very, very friendly. 
blue meaning zero and the equation and what in which equation the original and this one okay because so we have zero square is equal a but i i take advantage okay you know the value of the a a is one half parenthesis zero plus one because x is zero uh, plus b get no idea who is b zero minus one uh, zero plus one plus c but c i know get one quarter one over four zero minus one square aha uh -huh. this is we have one equation in which the only unknown is b okay zero plus one is one is one one time one half is one the zero is equal one half i don't know it's a negative one and this is positive one together a multiplication is minus b plus yeah it's supposed to get plus because this is square negative one square is positive one one quarter cool now b alone i move b to the left and we have one quarter plus one fourth mm -hmm. do it by how calculate either way the least common denominator is four this is two plus one is three quarter boom yeah i finished so now i need to write the final answer the final answer then is chip, 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 chip. final answer final answer final answer final answer final answer uh -huh. we have three parts of fraction of the decomposition one two and three a is one half and the factor is x minus one squared. B is three quarter. Multiplication x minus one. Can only set a parenthesis when it's only one. It, so you, know, you put a parenthesis, okay. The, the parenthesis not always is too much. It's like a money, no? Okay, so you have two more two money, a lot of money is it's good. So you have a lot of parenthesis always is good. It's not no, 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 don't delete the parenthesis. No, okay. And x plus one, the factor is one quarter, no? Okay, C. Yeah, one over four. This is one perfect way. This your answer is perfect. However, in calculus, I prefer that you are doing a little bit different. Let me show you. You go be here, x minus one squared, and you put one here and two in the in the, in the denominator. This is, this is this is the same. X minus one, just in this case, yes, you put a parenthesis and you put three in the top and four in the bar. And X plus one, parenthesis one in the top and four in the bar. This is equivalent, this is the same, but this is more elegant and this is more, you know, uh, suitable to work in calculus. Any question? What part you don't understand very well? Come on, big picture. So, see, I try to summarize the information is step number one is factorization of the polynomial and the denominator. Done. You know how factorization using the regular factorization that you know in college algebra or the new factorization you will learn with me in pre calculus in the first chapter, scientific division. After that, you need to recognize. Okay, they are working with the linear factor repeated. But the format is you take the higher exponent and you reduce to one. And we have another extra factor that is x plus one. So actually, I need to know conceptually that okay, we have one, two, and three partial fractions of the composition. Cool. After that, you convert my equation to look like horrible because contain fraction and a new equivalent equation can do not contain fraction and you multiply everything by the least common denominator so yeah my recommendation is always you try using a smart bar but there are some problems in which you have no possibility or partial and this this example three is is perfect example can you trade two smart value can help me to find a and c but to find the B, mm -mm, we need to put extra frame value, okay, is zero or, or no, two small value, no, because I don't want to complicate too much my, my arithmetic, no? 
Okay. Do you do you do you follow me? Everyone follow me or no? Come on, opinion. I want to hear opinion. Opinion, opinion. Everything okay? Good. Sum up. Clear, Giselle. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Good, Jose. Okay, okay. I have one more time. One more, a little bit complicated. And after I want to to illustrate you. Oh, clear, clear. You say, you say clear. Okay. Okay. Example four. Uh, and I promise okay, in the review package, we move on over again. This part. Doing more example. No? And, uh, I need to time to start a new section. Example four. Example four is 3x minus 5 bar by x cubed. Minus one. Wow. Uh -huh. At the beginning, I have no idea how many partial fraction decomposition you need. However, you take the polynomial in the in the denominator get okay, Q. By the way, it's no polynomial; it's a binomial, two guys. But it's a classical differences of a square of Q. So. Uh, I suppose you remember the formula. See, you don't remember, no problem. I refresh your memory now. A QB minus B QB. The factorization is A minus B. A squared plus A B plus B squared. This is the formula to make the factorization of the difference of Q. Uh, to say my question is one of professor and I don't want to tell something. What is the reason? Can you do not factorization that part? Ah, yeah, because this part is primal. It's a, a synonymous to say irreducible quadratic expression. Now, when you break it down this, of course, A is X and B is 1. In our example, it's X minus 1, X squared plus X plus 1. Okay, to say the factorization, if the first step is 3x minus 5 in the top, we cannot do anything. It's x minus 1, x squared plus x plus 1. And don't try to do anything more because I guarantee you 100% that this trinomial is prime. Okay? The reason get prime is because you try to apply the quadratic formula you get the imaginary complex, actually complex solution. So in the real field, we can now break it down. OK, now I know I am aware for that situation because the professor is playing it when it's complex or irreducible quadratic. You can know that you have two factors, it's x minus 1, and you have x squared plus x plus 1. Okay. Uh huh. But what is the detail? The detail is that the factor here is a. However, this factor is no a. A b x plus c. The reason is clear. See, the degree of that part is two. The degree of that part should be one, because the degree here is one. The degree of this is zero, because a is just a number. So the degree of the in any format. For the partial fraction decomposition, the the partial fractions, the degree of the numerator is one less than the degree of the numerator. See, the degree is two, so the degree is one in the numerator. See, the degree of one in the denominator, the degree is zero in the numerator. Okay, cool. Uh -huh. And to say, you realize that this is a format for the my partial fraction decomposition in this example. Do you understand very well this or no? Come on, guys. Opinion. Opinion, opinion. Opinion. Yes, Giselle. Okay, Giselle and Shane. Only the only guy that have opinion is Giselle and Shane. All good.
Everyone follow me, I suppose, or no? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. And the star. Okay, Sydney, we say yes. Okay, come back. So now, what is the next step? Well, the next step is easy. The next step is find the least common denominator. Okay, of course, the least common denominator is the least common denominator is least common denominator is x minus one times x squared plus x plus one. And when you multiply everything by the least common denominator, we have in the left hand side 3x minus 5. In the right hand side, we have 8 times x squared plus x plus 1 plus b x plus c times x minus 1. It doesn't matter the order that you write the fact. It's a multiplication, you know, the multiplication is totally commuted, you know. Aha, uh -huh. wow. It doesn't now, in this moment, I try to do my best. And my best maybe is find or using a smart value. Uh -huh. Opinion, guys, what do you suppose get a smart value? A smart value. Okay, use in the chat. Opinion. Positive one. Very well. Why? Because when you plug in one here, 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 one minus one is zero, and disappear a lot part. So you can find A. This is S easy. Three times one, minus five, S equal A times one square plus one plus one. Three times one is three, minus five is two, equal, uh -huh, and one square is one, plus one plus one is three, A. Therefore, A alone is two terms. But unfortunately, unfortunately, we have no more smart value. And the reason we no smart value because the, the, the zero of this trinomial is complex. So the zero is complex. So now you can work it with the complex. No, you can, but it's, too, it's, it's very complicated. I prefer, I prefer, because I have in my hand A, I need to find only two. I prefer using the smart, the frame value. Uh, maybe zero is nice. I love you, zero. I need the one. And you plug it in, you plug it in, you plug it in, uh, one by one, zero first. Uh -huh. So you have one equation that contains two unknown, it be and C, uh -huh. and you bring in negative one, so you have two equations, two unknown, and you finish solving the system. No? I don't know if it's exactly this procedure or no. Let me try, let me try. The, I, 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 the, 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 the procedure follow you. So you plug it in zero, zero, three times zero, minus five is equal eight, Pero a is to the zero square plus zero plus one plus b times zero plus c and zero minus one. Wow. Bueno, this is negative five, so you know the three times zero is zero, and zero is nothing. This is to the uh -huh. I, I am happy because b disappeared. Not necessarily apply the system. I solve it by one by one equation. Stay alive, C. Time negative one, no? because zero minus one is negative one. The actually, actually, this is negative. No positive. Mm -hmm. so, so now I move C to the right, to the left, like a positive, and we have two thirds plus five. And two thirds plus five is at least common denominator three, two plus 15. No? But the plus or minus? Now I see I make a mistake. I make a mistake. Now let me see. 
It's supposed to be negative two thirds. Uh huh. It's negative two thirds, right? It's negative two thirds. It's negative. Why? It's negative five. Let me see, let me see what is the mistake. The mistake is negative five equal minus two thirds. Yeah, right. Uh, okay. Uh huh. Because you put three point three times five two. Oh yeah, this is minus here, right? Three minus five is negative two. Uh huh. This is negative here. Cool. This is the mistake. Negative here and negative here. So it's negative, 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 negative two plus positive fifteen is negative is thirteen. Go with me. Okay. Therefore, C is equal thirteen over three. Okay, I need to find B now. To find B, well, you you um, you send the other frame value of okay, negative one. It says three times negative one minus five is equal. This is negative, right? Negative. Negative two thirds. Uh huh. It says negative one is square. Square. Another parenthesis, big parenthesis. Uh huh. Uh huh. Plus, 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 plus. Actually, negative one. Here, here, and the x value plus one. Uh -huh. Plus, plus, no, plus e, plus, plus, plus b. Time negative one. Plus uh, thirteen over three gets c. Big parenthesis. And we have here a negative one minus one. Make sense or no? So the only thing I did was, why try? Replace x for negative one. Uh huh. So it's obvious that this is a minus a, no? Because minus three and minus five together is minus a. It's obvious that we have again negative two thirds because, but positive, no? Positive or negative? It's supposed to be, all right, let me see. Negative one squared, positive one, minus one, plus one. Yeah, and negative, because this is canceled, and the state one, one can multiply by negative, two thirds negative. Negative, okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh, and the B part is plus, plus no. It's a negative two. A negative two times, Negative b is to b to b positive. Uh -huh. And finally, 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 a 13 or 2 times negative 2 is negative 13. Huh? Okay, negative 30. Okay, I need to find b. This is negative 8 plus 2 thirds mm, plus 13. Huh? Okay, let me check it out. Yeah. Equal to be no to be okay, cool. You find a least common denominator, get okay, three, and we have minus 24 plus two plus 26. Okay, 26 minus 24 is two, and two plus two is four. No? Four, 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 third equal to b divided by two, divided by two, divided by two, both sides. And when you divide by two both sides, b alone is equal uh, four over three times one half, uh, equivalent to divide by two is two thirds. Okay, I finish. Now two thirds. It's a b. Now let me write the final answer in elegant way. No? Like a calculus to need. So is uh, final answer is actually we have two partial fraction decom decomposition. The first one is x minus one, and the second one is x squared plus x plus one. And in the story. Now a is negative two third. Okay, so it's negative two third. Therefore, I copy negative two thirds. Oh, 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 negative two and three in the bar. 
guy, it doesn't matter if you put the negative two in the top, like a fraction. It's the same. It's equivalent. This is just cosmetic part to understand this. And what about B? Bueno, B, B, in this case, it's nice because it's coincident that 3 is the same denominator in B and C. Nice. I love you that. With the 3 here. Uh -huh. And we have 13. 13. Oh, no, no, let me write B, B. B, B is 2. 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2x. 2x, sorry, 2x plus 30. Wow, good. I like that. Equal. This is my final answer. Okay. Mm, see, this part is no good for you. No problem. You write like that if you want. x minus 1, x squared plus x plus 1. And you copy negative two third is the same. And you copy here two third x plus thirteen over. Okay, it's equivalent. This is the same thing. Equivalent, one hundred percent. Any question? Any question? Super clear or no? <laughs> no opinion. Of course, we have to practice. Yeah. Clear, clear, you said. Okay, uh -huh. look, I want to show you one important thing. Okay. In calculus to, in general, in calculus, calculus is the complicated part, but it's small. And we have, aha, uh -huh, Miss Norri, good for you. Okay, listen to this and this and this. Calculus is complicated, but it's small. So you spend time because it's complicated, but after you finish, you have a big algebra, a huge algebra. Okay, if the teacher wants to complicate this, you there are problems that you spend doing by hand two weeks in the algebra part. However, remember you have resources, online resource to make your algebra easy. Of course. You need to see. So you need to show the world, and to say now that you are in big trouble. No, but it's okay. I want to show you. Listen to me. One website. There are several. Not only one, but I like so much Wolfram Alpha. Let me show you Wolfram Alpha. I. You open your browser. If you want to follow me, you can do that. You open your browser, and you, for example, let me share the screen. Mm hmm. Uh, you you switch into the Wolfram Alpha. I suppose it's this page. Do you see my Google Chrome page? You see my Google Chrome page? Yes or yes, no? Yes. 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 Yeah. I I put it here. Uh, Wolfram Alpha. And you see here uh, in, immediately. Computational intelligence. Okay, and you click here. Bang. And you have different math. You can write in the natural language, English, or in math. I prefer in math. Uh, and you select you select nothing. You have different tool here. But in this case, no. In this case, you directly you put here the 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 thing you want is a partial fraction decomposition. So you type in the in the keyboard, but in this keyboard I have here in front of me. PFD. PFD indicate partial fraction decomposition. The partial fraction decomposition of what? Well, well, at the expression we have at the beginning is open the parentheses. Have fraction. And the top, and the top, you have tx minus five. The bottom, you have x cubed. You're using this very, very similar to the Alex. Click, click, and down minus one, minus one, minus one, and close the parentheses. 
of course, to say that the partial fraction of the composition you apply directly to this expression. Now you click here, compute input. This is the input. I need the output. Look at that. You say, to confirmation, can we type in okay or no? This is the original problem, and this is the partial fraction decomposition. You see, it's exactly the same the answer we get by hand. A is negative two third, B is two third positive, and, and C is 13 over three. No? Yeah. Do you see that? Cool. Super. Oh no. I make a screenshot. Let me make a screenshot. A screenshot to this answer. Because I love this answer. Okay, there you go. A screenshot. I save in I don't know where. Uh, boom here, partial fresh decomposition. Uh -huh. I come back to the Microsoft whiteboard. Let me try to come back, guys. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Microsoft whiteboard. Boom. Microsoft whiteboard. I love it. Now, uh -huh. I try now to put a picture. Okay, to and the uh, clean shot. This is a partial fraction decomposition. P for the P. You go. I, f I have that. Now open. Open, open, open. Please compare this answer. Can I get in Wolfram Alpha? And the answer. Can I spend 20 minutes doing, right? And we have a complicated problem. Okay, of course, that part, that part, that part is that part. The only difference is that I change the order. Because so I copy this part is this, and this part is this. Cool? Everything is, is okay? Aha! Cool. Jose Cabrera. Okay, Jose. Okay, so now we spend the rest of the time. No more partial fraction decomposition for the moment. No, no, no. And the review packet, we, I promise you, we go over again. Please. Missing. What is this guy? Let me erase everything in the whiteboard. Okay, now let's move on to another topic. Okay, it's easy. In my opinion, is the so we study the linear system of equation in two dimension and three dimension, but you are studying now non-linear, non-linear, non-linear system of equations but in 2d after i promise i put another example in 3d but oh, no 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 in 3 and 2d because the majority of you need to take only calculus 2 no calculus 3. calculus 3 guys so calculus calculus Have one and two, and one and two both are single variable. So our functions have only one variable, single variable, and we have calculus three, which is multi-variable. So the function in calculus one and two is f of x. 
That's it. And, and count three is whatever. X comma Y comma Z comma W comma blah 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 blah. Several variables. So now in the only for engineers and scientific physics mathematicians you know, need to take calculus three. Another major like a computer software something no. Only calculus one, calculus two, and another mathematics I don't remember the name. But it's easy. Okay, so what is the idea behind the nonlinear? Well, first of all, identification. Okay, so now one system is nonlinear when at least one equation is nonlinear. Suppose this example. Example one to understand the concept. Definition. Minus x minus 7y equal 5, 50. It's equation one. And the second equation is x squared plus y squared equal 100. Equation two, and this is my system can contain two equations. It's obvious that the first equation is linear. Why is linear? Because the exponent are only one. And when you're talking about linear, guys, or it's a line, or it's a plane, it's flat. However, this is no linear, it's a curvy, by the way, this is a circle, x squared plus y squared, equal 100, it's a circle. Okay, by the way, the center of this circle is in the origin, 0, 0, and the radio is 10. It's a square root 100. This is no linear, no linear. Therefore, the combination one equation linear and one equation nonlinear is obvious that the system is nonlinear. And the procedure for solving is completely different. Another example, another example, to be so light clear. Example two. Suppose that we have this equation 2x squared plus y squared equals 17. Equation one. And we have another equation that is x squared plus 2y squared equal 22. What do you think about the equation one? Is linear or non-linear? And by the way, equation two is linear or non-linear? And what about the system? The system is linear or non-linear? Opinion. Linear, linear, linear. The first equation is linear. Yeah, yeah. No. Why no? Because degree two is non-linear. Hey, hey, to be linear, we need x to the one power. Y to the one power. Because it's linear. See, you have degree two, degree three, degree five. It's non-linear. It's a curve. Like that. Or I don't know if it's open or closed. Depends, per hour or something. No linear. So, okay. The identification linear and linear is pretty easy. When you have exponent one, suppose this equation 2x plus 3y equal 5. Is linear or no linear? Linear. Absolutely. See, so I intentional. I put a square here. No linear. Uh huh. See, so intentionally, I put here. Exponent three here. No linear. No linear. That's it. Everyone follow me. What is the difference between linear and no linear and geometry that you see now? Okay. Does it now? Wait, so for it to be uh -huh. non-linear, everything has to be to the one power. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Yes, yes. You're right. Now, now, now. The the problem is two different challenges we have in this. Number one. They are not specific way to solving the nonlinear system. So this no, they are no procedure. You apply a little bit similar to the linear, but oh, no, 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 no. They are no specific. You see now in the example the one to show you. And to say now you're using your imagination. Now another possibility is that we have different solutions or no solution. For, for example, for example. Suppose this example, example one, 
the example two, the example three. So, but in the example one, the one equation is nonlinear and it's a circle. Uh, in this example, the second equation is linear, yes, this line. So my question is, we have solution or no? Uh, how many solutions? So the equation number one is the red graph, non-linear. And the equation number two is the blue, it's linear. I try to do my best in this linear. And you see, uh -huh, we have two solutions, obviously. So the intersecting point is the solution. Suppose another scenario in which you have an one equation gets nonlinear, and we have another equation that is nonlinear. How many solutions you see? How many? Four solutions. One, two. Three and four solutions. Uh huh. Suppose another scenario. Suppose that we have one nonlinear, and suppose that we have another nonlinear, but it's a parabola like that, okay, open, over. How many solutions you see? Zero solution. No solution. So in this case, no solution. And this is exactly I want to study now. Are you solving algebraically? Non-linear equation, and, but it's important that you expect this kind of equation or, or this kind of solution. Two solutions, four solutions, no solution, only one. It's totally crazy. It's not like the original linear. In the linear, remember, we have only one solution unique. We have infinity many solutions or no solution. In this case, we have maybe four solutions or two solutions, or three solutions. Okay, let's let's do it now formally, the example number one formal. No motivation. It's minus x, minus seven y, equal 50, equation one, and x squared plus y squared equal 100, equation two. By the way, it's the similar Similar, no, it's the same example that we I put at the beginning. We no? see, yes, it's the same. Okay, you identification that the first equation is linear, it's a line, and the second equation is nonlinear. Okay. Let's solve it algebraically. Okay, okay, okay. So now you take advantage. You take advantage who? You take advantage the the linear equation. Okay, nice. And you take advantage also get the coefficients in front of the variable f1 or negative one. So f1 here, negative one. So you apply substitution. Substitution exactly the same or similar to the linear. You solve for x and the first equation. Let me try, let me try, let me try. Minus x minus seven y equal fifty. Uh -huh, you solve for x, you need x alone, but positive, no negative. This is um, um, x equal, uh, let me see, I move, okay, okay, I move, I move, I move, I move, I move this x. Oh, no, 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 you multiply everything by negative 1. Uh, you multiply everything by negative one or change the sign. It's, 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 it's the same thing. This is positive, this is positive, and this is negative. Now, to make it easy, you solve for x. It says minus 50, minus 7. Cool. I have the x alone, but positive. Now, as all we have in substitution, you take this expression and you replace in the another equation in the y place. Chuk, here. So you have x squared plus parentheses, very important because it's one expression, minus 50 minus 7y squared equal 1. 
Now almost we finish because. Uh, so, uh -huh. so. Uh -huh. Wouldn't it be under X, not Y? Say again. Wouldn't it be uh, that equation oh, yeah, plus yeah, Y yeah. squared? Yeah, right. Sorry, you are right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, you are, I make a big mistake. Look. Cool. I am crazy. You plug it in and the X here. Ah, uh -huh. says minus 50. Thank you. Minus 7Y A squared plus Y squared equal 1. Thank you. I appreciate so much this. Yes. What's my lapse? Me. Yes, sir, why would, why would it be squared? Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, okay, there are many ways to do this. Many, 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 many. Okay, one, one fantastic way, in my opinion, <laughs> is you know, you know very well that negative one is square of positive one. Yes or no? And um, positive one is invisible. So actually, mentally, you factorization this negative that actually is negative one square of positive one. So, so this is equivalent to say 50 plus 7y square and the rest I copy exactly the same. Do you understand this idea or no? Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Another possibility is when you expand this, but definitely you can see it's the same. Everything is possible. Okay, cool. Now you uh, break it down or expand, sorry. Uh, this case 50 square plus 50 times 7 times 2, okay, is uh, 700. Why? Uh -huh, guys, uh, I suppose you remember this. A plus B square is A square plus twice AB plus B square. Yes or no? That's the thing I try. And this is 49 Y square plus y squared equal 100, correct? Do you follow me this uh, expansion of the binomial square? Say something. Uh, 50 square is to uh, 2,500. So actually, let me, let me organize, let me organize, let me organize. So we have actually is, let me erase this, 2,500. Wow, so this equation looks like, in my opinion, a quadratic equation. Because you combine like term, 49 plus 1 is 50. 50 y squared plus 700 y plus, well, well, 2500 minus 100, get move to the left equal to zero. And 2500 minus 100, 2400. So you don't need to write this separately. No, no, no. Hello. It's 2,400. Wow. And you can apply, as always, quadratic formula. But no, 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 no. You try to find the easy way, always. And the easy way, in my opinion, is this number, you can divide it by 50. See, you divide it by 50. Amazing. Look, you divide it by 50. This entire equation by 50, by 50, by 50, and by 50. Well, we have y squared. How do you know that? Try, you try. Of course, I try in my moment, I did this example. And you put in the calculator 700 divided by 50 is 40. And 2400 divided by 50 is 48. Wow, and zero divided by 50 is zero. And you get elementary equation that you solve them by factorization, I suppose. Why, why? And the combination that open the door is 8 and 6, because 8 times 6 is 48, and 8 plus 6 is 14. Both possible. Cool. Now you apply the zero factor property. Each factor is equal to zero. Therefore, y plus 8 is zero. Then, y minus 8 and y plus 6 equals 0, y is minus 6. I finished. No, this is just the beginning. Now I need to find the corresponding x. Remember, it's a plane 
a two dimension problem and you need to find the order pair x comma y to satisfy our equation but this is easy because you blew it in where in my opinion the easy way is plugging in but one by one look at the organization i propose you i propose you you copy here y equal minus eight uh -huh. and you substitution and this equation is waiting for me because x is isolated uh -huh. so this is the easy equation therefore x alone is equal minus 50 minus 7 times minus 8. okay order of operation minus 50 plus 56 is 6. therefore therefore the order per solution is 6 comma negative remember this is the x value and this is the was the y value no? likewise for y equal minus six logging in and the spread you get minus 50 minus seven time 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 minus six so there's minus 50 plus 42 no is minus eight and the other point solution is the point minus eight comma minus six okay solutions two solutions two points six comma minus eight and minus eight comma minus six end the story do you follow me but i have more so you have no question i have more good no question Everyone follow me? Hmm? Yes, you say, say yes. Uh, Jose, everything okay? Uh huh. Benjamin? I, I, I speak with the people that I saw your eyes. The other is, you know, imaginary number. This is, this is um, NDC life in which is mandatory activate the camera. I understand, Professor, I don't paint very well. Okay, no problem. But next time, I want to see your face, okay? Uh -huh. okay? Okay, then, 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 but I have more, I say. Okay, remember, we are working in two dimensions. And to say in two dimensions, we can use in decimals, yes or no? Wow, yeah, and this is your graphing. You graph it, you graph it, the, the equation nonlinear and the equation linear and the intersection of the solution and you verification at least to double check, you know? So you put in the decimal, no, because I saw in decimal. No, 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 you need to prove me algebraically. But in decimal, you double check it. Let me try, 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 let me try. Let me share the screen with decimals. Do you see my Desmos now or no? Or not yet? Do you see or no? Yes, yes. Aha. Look, the only thing I did was I typed in my first equation, linear, blue color, linear, blue. And my second equation, nonlinear, green color. Look at that. It's a circle. And the intersection, I can see. Get the famous point minus eight comma minus six and positive six comma minus eight. Any question? Any question? No? Of course, in the test, as always, you need to show me your word in the test. None for me. Without, what happened? What happened? Without, what part you don't understand? Utah, Utah, Utah. All right, let me see. You see Desmos? Utah, what, what's going on? Utah. I mean, no question. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Understand. Utah, I see. I see no question, no comment. Okay, you just try me. Okay, cool. Let's let's do another example. Let me come back to the whiteboard again. 
Mm -hmm. Let me try, let me try. Come back. Whiteboard. Microsoft Whiteboard. Switching to Microsoft Whiteboard. What is it that? I have no idea. Cancel. Okay. Switching. The hell? Oh yeah, I found. Do you see my whiteboard? No? Yeah, we see it. Yeah, okay, good. Let me erase everything. Start new problem. Very, very similar. Example two. Uh, example two is different. Example two is 2x plus y equal 5. This is my first equation x squared plus y squared. Ah, it's similar. Equal fit. Equation 2. Uh, I suppose you, you see clear that the first equation was linear. No? Linear is a line. When you are doing the graph. And this is the nonlinear. More specific is a circle. But the center is located at the point. But this is not important now. Center located at the point zero zero. And the radius is the square root 50 because this is r squared always. Okay, so now we apply the same idea. We apply the same idea. The same idea is you take the linear, you take advantage that we have a linear, I love you to have, and you isolate the variable that contains coefficients in one and in one. So it says you take y equal. 5 minus 2x. And this expression should do where? In the y place in another equation. And to say it's x squared plus parenthesis because you put inside binomial 5 minus 2x squared equal 50. Everyone follow me? Oh no. Then x squared plus you expand that guy is 25 minus, of course, it's minus because it's the sign inside is negative. Minus multiplication 5 times 2 gets 10, times extra 2 gets 20. Plus the second is always positive for x squared. Equal 50. Okay, 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 okay. This I suppose that we're ending now in quadratic equation. Okay, let me organize in any way. We combine like term. This is one and four together is five. Minus 20x plus 25 minus 50 equals zero. Five x squared minus 20x minus 25 equals zero. Yes. Now, if you do want to complicate your life with the quadratic equation, I see clear that any coefficient is divisible by phi. Mm -hmm. Because we have x squared minus 4x minus 5 equals zero. Wow, super easy quadratic equation. But one more time, we can solve it by factorization. And the, the combination can open the door, obviously, is 5 and 1. The 5 times 1 and 5, and somehow 5 minus 1 and 4. And this is negative and this is positive, no? Yeah. The x minus 5 equals 0 indicate also that the solution is 5, positive 5. And x plus 1 equals 0. Another solution x is equal to negative 1. So we come back. Uh huh. One by one, guys, slow down, relax. Everything going to be okay so far. And you take x equal 5. And substitution in this expression. Let's say y alone. You indicate that y alone is 5 minus 2 times 5. Um, 5 minus 10, any other one. Therefore, my first solution we found 
was 5,85. Mm -hmm. And likewise, at x equal negative 1, y is equal 5 minus 2 times negative 1, f5 plus, because negative times negative is positive, 2 gets 7. It's 7 positive. So the solution is the solution, negative 1, comma, 7. Solutions, two solutions. You see, always we have two solutions. No, no. no you see another example, we have one solution, four solutions, two solutions, and, 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 and you understand that we can put in decimals, no? Any equation you see, and verification, double checking, if this solution is okay. Okay? Uh -huh. I put in decimals when I have some, some doubt. See, I am sure 100% that our algebra is strong, no problem. But see, you, you have time and you want to verification using this. Any questions so far? This example two is very, very similar to the question one. It's repetition, not the same thing. But I want to change the flavor now. Look, example three is different. Example three is different. Look, suppose this equation. X minus five squared plus y squared equal 25. Equation one. Y alone is equal to three times, three times square root X minus A. And it's equation two. Wow, what the hell? What the hell is that? It's obvious, it's obvious that this equation is nonlinear. And it's obvious that this equation is also nonlinear because somehow involves square root. And the square root is nonlinear. See, we are doing the graph of this. Obviously, it's a curve. Shoot, shoot. Yeah, I need to find the solution in between the curve, the common points. But in this case, I, one more time, I take advantage of substitution. And the reason is because the second equation, of course, nonlinear, uh, I take advantage that the y is isolated. Wow, I like that. So now, Actually, the only thing that I need to do is take this expression and plug it in in the y and another equation. So basically, it's x minus 5 squared plus parentheses, important the parentheses, 3 square root x minus 8 is y, x squared equal 25. Everyone follow me? Everyone understand the thing I'm doing? Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, Giselle, to so say now, as always happen, you expand that binomial. Okay, it's x squared, so squared first, minus, because it's minus this sign, two times five times x. Yeah, it's 10x plus, the second sign is always plus 25. 25, five squared. But in the other part, be careful, this is complicated. 3 squared is 9, parentheses. And when you square the square root, it's obvious that square root and square power undoes each other. So I cancel out and I stay x minus a. But important, 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 three important, you enclose in the parentheses because the, you know, you know, a square root behave like a grouping symbol. And when you square, the answer is x minus 8. Okay, it's a minus 8, but I put it by the reason is because I have 9 outside. You put have 9 outside to say you multiply. Okay, 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 okay. I understand a little bit. Now, 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 I apply distributive property. Why not? We have x squared minus 10x plus 25 plus 9x minus 72 
minus 25. Why no? Because I believe that we end in in quadratic equation. Uh -huh, because now we have x squared and 25 positive and 25 negative is cancelled. Plus 9x plus 9x, no, sorry, is minus 10 plus 9 is minus 6, negative 1. Minus minus 72 equals 0. Wow, this is also easy because by factorization we can do that. Guys, see, another problem more complicated is impossible doing by factorization, no problem. You solve them by quality formula. And that's it. In this case, it's easy. There's 9 and 8. Because 9 and 8 is 72. And 9 minus 8 is negative 1. Or positive 1. Doesn't matter. You are just the sign positive negative here and positive here. Okay. This is x minus 9 is 0. Indicate also that x is equal to positive 9. And x plus 8 is 0. Indicate also that another possible solution is negative. Okay. Cool. Now I want to find the y value. To find the y value, you take x equal 9, mm -hmm. substitution in the equation 2, que is y equal 3 times square root 9 minus 8, and 9 minus 8 is 1, and the square root 1 is 1, and 1 times 3 is 3, oh, oh, oh. Therefore, my solution is 9,3. Cool. Now, likewise, you take x equal minus 8. Y is equal to, so you copy the expression, 3 square root minus 8. So you replace x for minus 8, minus 8, another minus. Oh, you, you, something weird happening in this because it's 3 times square root negative 16, que is imaginary, right? Uh -huh. it's, a, it's classical idea. When you try to solve in something and the answer is imaginary or complex, it's because this solution do not exist. Uh -huh. and in this case, I am not sure 100%. They want to simulate in this one to see perfectly this idea. So basically, we have only one solution, not two. Solution, only one, single. Okay, okay, keep in mind, at the beginning you don't know anything. You suppose that you have, I don't know, two solutions, three solutions, four solutions. But actually, it's good proposal to see two solutions, nine and negative eight. But when you plug in negative eight, give me a y imaginary number. That's me, okay, this is invisible. This is, do not exist in the real field at least. In another dimension, maybe, but in the real field, no. But let me verification in this one to make sure. Okay, let's see, this is example three. No? Yeah. Yeah. Let me share the this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hold there. Teaching Desmos. Do you see my Desmos? Do you see? Do you see yeah. or no? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I copy yes. my I copy my equation. Look at that. My first one and my second. Look at that. Boom. Okay, my first equation case I put in black color. It's a circle. But no circle. With a center and zero zero, the center is located at the point five comma zero here in the center, and the radius is five. And so we get square root twenty five five. However, this uh, non-linear expression or equation, sorry, is is like a parabola. It's uh, like a parabola. In this case, a horizontal parabola. Okay, okay. And this parabola have only one branch. Why? Only one branch. Well, the reason is because suppose, suppose, suppose I copy this. Let me try to copy. I press copy, control C. I copy, I put 
put available another another line, control B, paste. They put a negative sign here, and you see the full paragraph. Uh -huh. Remember, when you compute the square root, you have plus and minus. But in this case, no. No, why not? Because the equation gets given at the beginning a plus, no minus. So that branch do not exist. That is the reason that we have to only one solution. Super clear? Super clear? I want to hear yes, something. Clear. Okay. Now let me see attendance. Okay, 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 okay. 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 Let me try one more. One more example. One more. One more in 2D. I don't know if we have time to see in 3D. In 2D. Let me come back to the web. Okay. There you go. I suppose you are watching now my whiteboard, no? Yes or no? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Example, I don't remember one number. Five? Or four? All right, let me see. One, two, three, four, no? Four. Uh -huh. 2x squared plus y squared equals 17. Equation one, non-linear, of course. X squared plus 2Y squared equal 22. Non-linear. By the way, this is the example that we're using in the, in the motivation part to explain linear and non-linear, no? Uh-huh, so we solve it now. In this case, it's impossible. Apply substitution. No, impossible. Why? Because we have no one variable can have exponent one can you can solve isolate no so you apply elimination maybe elimination 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 there are many 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 way to apply elimination i propose one idea not necessarily the only idea suppose that you multiply the equation number two by multiplication by negative two what is my intention my intention is when you multiply the equation number two by negative two, we have a new equation two, it's equivalent, 100%, minus two x squared, uh, minus four y squared, equal minus 44, no? And this, again, is my equation two. Uh, and basically, I am working using the equation one original, and the new equation two, okay, by the way, is equivalent 100%, no? And you adding equation one plus equation two. It's obvious that this is canceled. That was created artificially to get this idea. And positive y squared and negative four and minus three y squared. Equals something, something, something is 17 positive and minus 44 subtraction it's minus 27. Okay, cool. Divided by negative three both sides. Y squared is equal to nine, positive nine. And when you, well, in this moment you have quadratic equation, but easy, easy quadratic equation, you solve it by square root property, apply square root both sides, and Y alone is equal plus or minus. Okay, and we have two solutions. Well, I don't know, I don't know. You don't know if we have two or more. Now I need to find, I need to find, I need to find the x value, no? because I eliminate the x, I solve for y, I need to find this. Well, 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 I don't know why, in my paper, I take this equation. Now let me see, I take, yes, I take this. It doesn't matter, guys. The beauty is because it doesn't matter the equation that you take, the one original, the two original, or the two new, the answer is, is the same. Uh -huh. So in this case, x squared, you replace y by plus or minus three. So you copy x squared plus two times 
parenthesis. Well, you plug it in one by one, professor, or you plug it in both. In this case, you can plug it in both because the answer is always positive. It doesn't matter if it's plus or minus because it's a square. So when you you can use in this idea when the when the power is two or four when it's even, no? So say to say now it's easy. Si no, si es cubic, entonces you need to plug it in one, one by one because it's a different answer, no? Okay, entonces now it's x squared. Let me try to compute that part. It's a nine, no? So it doesn't matter if it's plus or minus three, a squared plus the nine. A plus the nine times two is 18. Equal 32. Now x squared is equal 32. Minus 32. 22, no? Chush. We're going from the 32. 22, 22 minus 18 is, is obvious, okay, 4, no? That's all. 22 minus 18 is 4. Now apply square root both sides. Is x is equal plus or minus 2. Wow, and the confusing part, at least for me, is how many solutions you believe they will have? Two solutions, four solutions, or one solution? I don't know. What do you think? Four, four. Four. You are right. You are right. Because, look, look. Suppose that I am using y equal to three. Uh -huh. You get the same procedure, but you obtain two value of the x. Okay, it's two positive and two negative. Therefore, walking for this branch, we have the point to go three. Walking for this branch, you have the point minus two comma three. However, so you select negative three, the, the procedure is the same, identical, and you get two answer, x equal two, x equal negative two, and you get two comma minus three and minus two comma minus. Wow, we have four possibilities. Do you understand very well? Just in case you do you, it. You, to make sure that everything is okay or no, you put in the smalls and you verify that we have four solutions. Let me try, 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 let me try. Okay. Switching to the smalls. Oh, carajo. Do you see now? Yes or no? Yes, yes. Yes. Look at that. Bang. Okay, the first equation I put in orange color, the second purple color, and the intersection is four point is this one. Okay, we found at the right one. Same thing. Also, uh -huh. we have time to one more example, and that's it for today. Maybe for three dimension, we are doing it next time. Uh, three dimension is completely optional. In in the test on paper, never you put three dimension, and the test online in Alex never put three dimension, only two dimension. Pero curioso, just in case in the future. Okay, uh, now, now, now. Let's see the last exam. This is super easy. Super, super easy. Super, super easy. Let me try, come back, come back, come back to the Microsoft whiteboard. Microsoft whiteboard. Aha, uh -huh, I have that. Do you see Microsoft whiteboard? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Okay, look at that. This is x squared. This is equation number five, no? Example five. Uh, x squared plus four y squared equal four. Equation one, nonlinear. x squared minus y squared equal nine. It's nine. Yeah, and nine. 
number two equation, nonlinear. We have again two nonlinear equations. Well, no idea. No sé, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe if you multiply the second equation by four, I take advantage. Okay, this guy is negative and this guy is positive. I am so happy. See, I create artificially four here. Multiply the equation, the entire equation, two by four. We have four x squared minus four y squared equal 36. And this is my new equation two. It's equivalent to the original equation. But now it's ready. The combination, this equation and this equation is ready to apply elimination. Uh, and so we have five. One plus four is five. X squared, this is cancel. That was my goal, my intention. And this is 40, no? 40, 40, 40. 40, 40, 40. Divide by five. Divide by five. It's obvious that X squared is equal eight. I apply square root, similar, similar, similar. X is equal plus or minus. The square root A is two radical two. Because eight is two and four. And the square root A is the square root two and the square root four. And the square root four, everyone know gets two. This two is this two. And this two can stay alive. Stay inside the radical. Get this. Oh, either way, guys. This is not important. This is your elementary algebra, folks. Okay, now ready, 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 ready to find the y value associated with this x. Well, well, well. You take this expression, this x equals something, and substitution. Why not? Why not? Here. Or oh, here. Doesn't matter. The answer should be the same. Uh huh. Those are x. No x anymore. I put plus and minus two radical two. I I plug in both because I know the square is the same number. Minus y square equal equal nine. Equal nine. And yeah, I know the two radical two square is eight. We we see before. This is eight minus y square equal nine. Okay, I try to do my best now. I say now so far, so far y is, 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 is eight minus nine is equal y square. I'm moving the y square to the right hand side. I'm moving the nine to the left. Doesn't matter. It's a negative one equal y square. Wow, wow, wow. When you apply square root, one more time you see a square root of the negative number. No real solution. Imaginary solution. In this case, no solution. No solution. This system have no solution because both positive two radical two and negative two radical two give me, give me, give me imaginary solution. But just in case, I want to see graphically to verify that this conclusion is okay or not. I need to see. I need to see. I need to see. Therefore, I go to Desmo. I put my equation, and Desmo is nice because you put the equation and the reaching out. Wake is giving in the problem. Okay, 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 let me switch in, switch in, switch in to this one. Okay, 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 okay. Here, there you go. Okay, there you go. Do you see my Desmos? Yes or no? Yeah, yeah. Okay, now in the problem five, we have this curve. Bang! And you see the first one. It's ellipse. It's ellipse in purple color. And the second one is the hyperbola. Guy, I promise in, in the last chart that we told in detail this conic section. Ellipse, hyperbola, parabola. Okay, this is the topic for the chapter four. But you see that there are no solutions. Clear? No, no touch? Never touch? Okay. 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 Stop sharing. Do you think we are the best in Miami Day College? Huh? Okay. Cool. Now, remember, 
I track, I track, and no, all the people start doing the homework. Only the, the you know, the excellent student get always doing fast. And so now, this is a moment to start doing the, the homework. Any question, because this is more complicated chapter, you make a screenshot and email me with the yes, yeah, I saw in one, in five seconds. Yeah, it's solving. I send to you the, the solution. Okay? This is the thing I, I suppose that you are doing now. Bye bye, guy. See you. Thank you, Professor. Thank you. Have a good one. Have a good one. Okay.